So in this lecture, we will discuss about how we can get data from SharePoint list and then display some visualizations or reports uh, from that SharePoint list data. Also, we will see how we can format the data and uh, how we will use those formatted data into creating some visuals. So let me first show you uh, the list, how it looks like. So this is a product list, which is having a title column, vendor column, customer name, quantity, price, sales, date, delivery charges, CT like this are there. These are the columns. Also, I have the vendor column is a lookup column, which is uh, for another list. So if I will show you, this is my vendor list, which is having this many vendors are there. And we are using that column in this one. So now what we will do is we will first open our Power BI desktop and then we will connect to SharePoint. So I will uh, click on this. I will just search for Power BI desktop and click on open. So now our Power BI desktop will open from where we can connect to the SharePoint data source. I'll just close it because we don't require these things. And uh, this is where we can first uh, make the connection so I'll click on get data and here click on more and the in the next it will show in the dialog box where I click on online services because we want to retrieve online so here SharePoint online list so click on connect now it will ask you to provide the site URL so I'll just copy the URL make sure it uh, uh, no need to provide the URL list URL, just put the site URL and then click on OK. So once you click on OK, if you have not signed in, then it will actually ask you to sign in uh, with your credentials. If you have, since I have already uh, signed in, so it is not asking me. Now in this case, I have two call uh, list I required. One thing is the product list and then the vendor list I will uh, open it. And as I said before, we have two uh, uh, important options are there, load and transform data. So I'll do load and then we will see what is the problem in this uh, uh, data. And then we will see how we can use our query editor now and how we can format little bit the data. So now if I'll go to the uh, list, you can see here, I'll go to this uh, data um, option. And here is the two uh, list that I can see here. So this is our vendor list and this is our product list. But look at the product list. If you'll see here, there's a lot of columns which actually we do not require. So you can see here, these are the uh, columns which we do not require. So, and, and another thing is, the data that the vendor column has. So if I will show you author, uh, And here we can just see the vendor ID and we do not see the other columns as well, vendor name and other title column. So now the formatting is required here. So what we will do for in this case is, you can just click on uh, from the home tab, this transform data is there and you can click on transform data. This will basically open the Power Query Editor where we can transform our data. So click on this and if you'll see here, this is the Power Query Editor and uh, I have selected, you can see here the product and look at the columns. We don't really require these columns. And now you can see here, this is the vendor column and it is coming as record. Ideally, we should not see record, we should see the vendor name here. So click on this button and then you can see here it is loading all the columns. You just uh, select, unselect all the columns and then click on title. I mean, just select the title column and then click on OK. So now if you we'll look at this, it is coming, the vendors are coming correctly. So next what we will do is, we don't want all these columns. So what we will do for that, you can see here, there is in the same Power Query Editor, choose columns is there. Click on this choose columns and here we will unselect everything and I will select the columns which we required. For example, title, vendor ID, let's say customer name, quantity, price, sales date, delivery charges, CT, and uh, if you'll see here, let's see if any other column which we require. So vendor, title, these things we require and click on OK. 
so once you have this you can see here now we have the limited data now for the timing mean I will just click on close and apply so that our filter whatever we removed it will be apply and then the query editor will be closed so once the query editor get closed you can see here now we will see the data whatever we selected so now you can see here we have the correct data and we can use these things for the reporting so now let's uh, what we will do now is I will uh, go to uh, the reports tab you can see here and we'll add some visuals and then we will uh, see how the report is appearing so if you we'll look at this I will just click on uh, probably I will take uh, um, a waterfall chart you can see here this is an interesting chart here I will show you now what might be the problem will be so in this this one if you will see here I will take the customer name and then I will take uh, the price here but you can see here nothing is happening why because there is a problem with the data type as I said before in the Excel almost it will convert every data type and it will come uh, it will appear correctly but this is not the case of SharePoint so I'll go to the tables tab again if I will see title you can see here the data type is text which is absolutely fine vendor ID it should be the whole number uh, and just click on yes and then similarly if you'll see here customer name it is text it is fine quantity you can see here it is coming as text now this should not be the case so I will select this and select whole number click on yes the price also we will uh, I will select the price column it will make it to whole number sales date should be a date time click on ok delivery charges again should be will put as whole number so now the data formatting is correct you can see here right side it is coming like this now go back here and we will now add the chart so I'll add the waterfall chart here so I'll just click on that I will just make a little bit here now on this I will put the category so I will put the customer name here and the second is the price I will put it here so sorry in the y-axis I'll put the price so now you can see here now it is coming correctly Similarly, I will uh, if, if you want to display uh, uh, the data label here go to the format and you can see here Data labels and you can make it to on so that we can see actually how it is coming this data table Now I will take one more uh, uh, Data um, one more visual and then we will see how that is appearing and also I will show you how it will reflect on the real time so I will take uh, this tree map chart so I'll click on tree map you can see here I'll put it here and on this basically we will take the group as customer name in this group and the value we will take the quantity so now if you'll see here in this chart particularly so it is showing me all this uh, company name customer name and then the quantity let me make the data label on so you can see here now we can actually see TS Info 73 KL Soft 70 SS take it's 28 like this XYZ is 43 so this is the quantity that we can see now let me go back to the SharePoint site so you can see here this is my SharePoint site I'll do quick edit and we will change some quantity over here for example TS Info I'll make it to 20 that means we are increasing 5 here and then TS info here we are increasing 20 here and similarly KL soft 20 is there I'll make it to 30 now exit quick edit so basically we increase some of the quantity now if I'll go back to the report just notice 73 TS info and KL soft 70 so I'll go to this refresh button which will actually refresh the data so you can see the changes now I'll click on refresh you can see here it is refreshing the data and now you can see here it becomes 88 and this becomes 75 that means this 
the report is now refreshed from the real time data so this is how we can create some visuals on this uh, from this sharepoint list data in the next video i will show you how we can uh, use slicers so that we can filter and see the uh, records